all summer long after I came back from my study abroad trip to the UK. I can't wait to share with you guys what I've been doing, so let's go. Let's start off with the color run. I did this as soon as I came back from the UK and it is the happiest 5K on the planet, I swear. After every K, they throw a different color on you and at night it turns into a huge party. Oh, oh, I, oh my God! A couple of weekends later, me and my friends took a little road trip to Six Flags. on the Superman, <laughs> the lightest roller coaster in the park. It was a light, it was heavy. Yeah, so instead I decided to go on something that's a little bit more up my speed. I think it's safe to say oh that the Black Cup won. my mom's birthday, I brought her to Soko, and right after was my baby's birthday. Surprise! She didn't even see it coming. She turned the big one too, and we had a YouTube theme birthday surprise party for her. Doesn't she look adorable? The following weekend, I finally attended Silent Disco for the first time. This thing is so dope. Okay, so let me explain it to you. You get there and you put on some headphones and each color represents a different station. Red, blue, and green. Throughout the party, you can always switch the channels to listen to different type of music. And it's so cool because everyone is either listening to the same or different things. And this is pretty much what Sally Disco sounds like. and some of my guys, we threw a beach party and this was such a big step in my weight loss journey because for the first time, I was okay with wearing a bikini and taking a pic in it. I lost 10 pounds, gained 50% muscle, and shrunk my waist to a 26 inch. I think it's pretty safe to say that I was so happy on that beach and definitely feeling myself. All right, ready? Five, four, three, two, one. yoga class I pretty much got addicted to everything silent disco mom did you like your yoga class yes I did you should have seen her she was like she was getting it in she was all up in that warrior pose she was getting it in guys we went out for some Thai food for Din Din and then headed home so I can record my video in the studio no <laughs> not really if only like people see like the behind the scenes for YouTubers, like I'm in my bathtub right now, but my hair looking crazy in a bathing suit that don't even match. <laughs> Despite all of those shenanigans, my wash and go routine video came out perfect. My wash and go technique worked. I was so happy about that. If you guys haven't checked out the video, I'll leave a link down below. The next weekend, I went to Curl Fest. This was my first time attending this natural hair festival in Brooklyn. It was so dope. It was full of vendors, natural hair demonstrators, and most of all, I got to meet my subbies. Afterwards, I saw some natural hair gurus like Minnie Marley and lovely Anika. I even got to see Oya and Felipe. Run, Oya, run! <laughs> run, Oya, run! Oh, so cute! <laughs> I got to meet the natural hair fairy godmother, Natural85. And go. Live in love with you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Going up gang time. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've been chilling all day today with Bezo Honey, queen editor on YouTube. Hey guys. <laughs> And my Ray Ray. Hey. Beautiful. Oh, thank you, kind <laughs> sir. <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys, so 
Um, I'm going to put myself on a yoga challenge. Um, going to that South Street Seaport silent disco yoga class that I went to the other day was so amazing. And it just made me realize that, like, I'm kind of off my game, you know? I've been doing yoga, you know, like, often. Just not often enough. Not often as I used to. So, to start off fall in September, I'm going to put myself on a yoga challenge. So I'm basically going to be doing um, a different pose every day and challenging myself to do a different pose every single day. This is the pose that I chose for that day. I posted this on my Insta, so if you're not following me there, make sure that you are. I'll leave the links down below. I am headed to a Soka dance class. Do you hear all the glow-in-the-dark soca workout class was super fun because we used a lot of glow-in-the-dark workout gear like jump ropes and stuff and afterwards we took a big group photo I will leave the links down below if you guys want to join next time the next day I got my hair looking decent so I can be a part of my school study abroad campaign so yeah like study abroad is awesome <laughs> and everybody should go and that weekend, for the third time, I went to Silent Disco. I really love Silent Disco. I go like every week. You guys can't hear me right now, but I'm jamming. I woke up early the next morning to get some brunch at my new favorite spot, the Brooklyn Star. They give you chicken and waffles and fried sugar-coated grapefruits. Yes. And of course, Mondays needs yoga. If you guys want to follow me and do my yoga, make sure you follow me on Snap at Live Natural Love. I have no gym in my game. There are huge curve formers over here, but I have to go through the supermarket so I can record my healthy salad recipes. And on top of that, it's raining. So yeah, big jumbo bonnet to the store. No shame. After I shared with you guys on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter my weight loss journey, everyone wanted to know what I've been eating, so I finally made a video to share with you guys my healthy salad in a jar recipes that I eat for lunch. This video is already up, so if you want to check it out, I'll leave the link down below. Good morning, loves. So I am on my way to a meeting to discuss, you know, TA positions and grad school and things of that nature. And of course, I am late as always, but my outfit is super cute. Check it out. Check it uh, out. Yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. We met up at Cecile, which is a pretty dope black owned restaurant in Harlem. So I met up with some professors and some TAs. We spoke about everything from being graduate students, going through the struggle of school, and how to become powerful black women. That's it guys, thank you so, 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 so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I will leave all those links down below. And actually, I'm on Snapchat now, so make sure that you follow me there. Thank you again so much for watching, and until next time, don't forget to live in love with you.